How do you know this brother here is serious about you? How would you know? How would you How would you say, you What's know this what? this guy trying to do? Bro? What? I love my girl right now. Yeah, pen one, yeah. You gotta keep it halal, yeah? The reason you guys say that is because maybe you had bad experience, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. girl says, you know what? If you like me, you gotta come and speak to my father. I'll be like, I said, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. I have the man, yeah. I have the man. I would, I would go to the father and if see what has to someone. say. If she said to you, you gotta come speak to my brother, how would you feel? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters and dear friends today we are out in Shepherd's Bush and it's Valentine's Day as you guys know as Muslims we are not allowed to date and we go about things the right way we go to the father so what we're going to do today is we're going to pop this bubble and ask people what they think about the Muslim way of getting to know somebody and the dangers of our own relationships we're going to find out now Valentine's Day have you guys do you have boyfriends? yeah no you don't okay alright so how would you suss out so when you met your boyfriend how did you know this guy is genuine or he's a player how, how did you know? You just don't think you just hold your cars close to your chest and then just wait and see. That was my okay, mistake. What you, what, okay, my what, mistake. What, what, okay, what, do you, what do you mean by hold? Like, you just do, keep keep a guard up a little bit and then see how it goes. And then if they're genuine, it will come through. Like I've had friends before, yeah, yeah. who were like players and stuff, kind of stuff, yeah. Yeah. And they say exactly. A lot of the young same. boys are. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And that's what they say men are. Yes. Trash. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So this, this phrase, them are. exactly. The reason you guys say that is because maybe you had bad experience. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's your name? David. David and sister. Sarah. Sister Sarah. Okay. You said that there might be a potential that you guys might go out, etc. No, listen. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Just okay. Met, innit? okay just met. Cut that bit. Cut that bit. You just met. You just met. Okay. Yeah, like. Yeah. Okay, okay. The way you move, you, you acted like you're a girlfriend or something. I'm nah. yeah, come on, man. You know, finish the sentence off. Men are trash. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. How do you, how do you suss someone out? The way he talks to you, like if he respects you. Okay, if he respects you. Like you can see in the way that he looks at you and stuff like that, or the okay. way that he like. Body language. Yeah. Okay. So even if I'm in a WhatsApp conversation or saying, the brother has to be there. In the yeah? WhatsApp conversation? WhatsApp conversation, oh. fam. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? Louis. And your girlfriend? Helia. 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 Okay, so basically, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. I'm an Orthodox Muslim. Let me put it like this here, okay? How do you know? It's a question to you, sister, yeah? How do you know he really loves you? <laughs> like, but how would you know if he really loves you or is after the wrong things? How how would you suss him out? Because he's been with me for two years, like. Okay, so you've been together for two years, yeah. 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 Well, if you guys get married, come be invited. Okay, how do you know this brother here is serious about you? How would you know? How would you? How would you say? You What's know what? What's this guy trying to do? What? So now, if you really love a girl, yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. I love my girl right now. Yeah, pen one, yeah. I love my girl right now. Okay, okay. You, got, you, got, you got to keep it halal. Yeah? Halal means you got to do it the right way. Yeah. yeah. Now, if you want to get to this, imagine you like this girl. Okay. Yeah. yeah? When you grow up, how old are you? How old? 11. 12. 11, 11. Yeah. So when you when you're 16, 12, when you're 16, yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. 11, 12. Same thing. Yeah. So when you grow up, yeah. Imagine this girl says, you know what? If you like me, you got to come and speak to my father. I'll be like, I said, oh no, 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 Obviously, in that process, yeah. you're a ma man. She's a woman. You have yeah. desires. Yeah. Things happen. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, what if you turn around and say, "You're not the one for me"? What if I do that? Yeah, yeah you can't. Isn't there not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could happen. Yeah. So then, you're just going to casually tell her, yeah. like, "Sorry, you know, it's not meant to be." Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, I'm going to talk in general. Yeah, in general, in general. Okay, in general. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah, no, like, really if you've got good morals. Yeah. If you like, I don't know, if you're smart, not on this road thing. Okay. You know, yeah, if you're a nice person, okay. not just trying to beat and delete girls. Okay. You know, we've, got respect, we've got respect in that, yeah. Okay, all right. You know what? How men go about things? How would you know if he's a player or not? Coming from a man's perspective, can you, can you suss, can a girl suss a man out, a player or not? Or is it hard? I don't even know, man. Like, that's, that's, I don't even know. It's up to a girl, isn't it? Like, is it? She feeling them, she feeling them. Guys, after the wrong thing, as a male, would he go about things like, is he gonna, he's not gonna make himself bait. Mm. So can a female suss out a guy being genuine or not? I don't know, I'd have to be female to know that. I don't know. No, but as, as, as a man, so let, yeah. for example, I had friends back in the day. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. And if they're about messing around, I don't think a girl could ever clock 
unless it, unless he gets caught out. Yeah, I don't really think they could clock unless he makes it bait. So if he don't make it bait, they would never know until they put themselves in that situation. Okay. Yeah. I have the man, yeah, I have the man. I would, I would go to the father and if see what he has someone. to say. Yo, this guy's a G. Hold on a second. You will go to the father wait, wait, and see what they have to say. One second, one second. Sofian, make sure. If they're all gonna, if I go to the father and see what they have to say. So, if okay. you're gonna say silly things, then obviously I'm gonna go. Yes, Brian. Like, yes. They'll, be, right, they'll, right, be, they'll right. be like, oh, she, she wanna lick my daughter, yeah? Well, you have to go through some steps to keep yeah, her but yeah, 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 yeah. But like, you can't have alone. my daughter afterwards. No, okay, one second, one second. If you had a daughter and some man didn't come to you and went behind your back and start dating, no, that's like true, that? that's true, that's true. But like, I'll say, if, if, if you have to go through it my happens. daughter, you have to go through my daughter to do these rules so you don't like, like rape her or anything like that. See, can a girl tell the difference between a player and not a player? Be honest. No, I don't think so. Oh. I don't, no, think, I don't so. think so. It's the trick that these men have, you know, that, they, you know, they can't be spotted. You know, what's the camouflage? What's the camouflage? I can't, I can't tell you that one, but you just... You it's just a secret, know. it's a secret, isn't it? Yeah, it's a secret, like, I don't know, man, it's different. If she said to you, you got to come speak to my brother, how would you feel? I ain't got a brother. <laughs> okay, so imagine, no, imagine. I, no, I, no, I get you that, I feel like, I feel that like she's it. obviously respecting the thing, and if I respect her as well, if that's what she grants, then I'll do it, innit? Like he's a good, this guy's a good boy, so you, you need to you need to keep this boy and get married and come to your wedding. But but if if a man's a player and if the girl says meet my brother, what would you do? Say fuck that. Pardon? She said come and speak to my dad. Yeah, why not? Why not? Wait, why not? Wait, straight away. Yeah, she said she said look, you interested in me? Come yeah. speak to my dad. What would you say? I'll say not right now. I can't do that right now. Okay, so now Islamically, how we date and how we get married is a bit different, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. So I wanted to share that with you guys and I just wanted your feedback, okay? Okay. I think I might know it already. Okay, so, okay. Go on, take a guess. Is it, it's not like you go through your parents? Do you kind of yes, like get your yes, parents yes. to kind of oh my God, suggest? Yes, yeah. so basically, like suitors. suitors. Let's suppose, let's say I, I'm interested in a female, yeah? I will have to go to her father mm -hmm. and say, I'm interested in your daughter. I would like to get to know her. Are you? You can, right. but there's restrictions, yeah? It's regulated, okay. yeah? yeah? But the reason it's regulated, which I'm going to come to in a minute, yeah? Is because when I'm getting to know her, her brother or her father has to be in the room. Oh. So they don't, he doesn't have to be like there and like right as you're speaking, but he has to, you know, see what's going on, yeah? Okay, because obviously, you know, genders, yeah, female, males, they have, you know, yeah. kind yeah. of desires. So now, how do you think that is compared to in our society? For example, let me give you guys some stats here. Four hundred thousand people carry STDs. Yeah, you have a chance of getting raped. You have a chance of being your heart. You are getting your heart broken. Yeah, because if you meet, let's say you're meeting some guy. Yeah, he's gonna, he's not going to tell you he's a rapist or he's a player. He's going to tell you everything you want to hear. Yeah. So based on, that, I just want your honest reply. Yeah, mm. the way we go about it, would you not say it's a more of a way where it secures the interest of a female and as I'm getting to know her the father or the brother has to be present yeah what what do you think about that that's like, long, <laughs> long that's isn't it long. it's, it's what, long why do you think it's long but because no, it might but, not work out and then all of that is just the way no no that's calm if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out then you gotta do that all over again the whole process yeah do, 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 but do, do you not think it takes it's it's there to secure the female's interest because you know some men are after the wrong things you get me against because we also have this concept called the female can ask for something called mahar so what that means is if i'm proposing to you you can say okay as a mahar as a gift i want five grand yeah so if i'm after the wrong things i'm not going to pay five grand yeah I'm, I, do you get what i'm trying to say yeah, yeah. so but how it's a bit of a safety rush. Yeah, the, the prophet peace upon him told us that when a man and a woman is alone the third person is satan yeah this we believe in saying what that means is desires might kick in and something might happen so okay. it's now we have this. So if you go to the cinema, like okay, so happen. we have this concept called prevention is better than cure. Yeah. yeah. So right. that's the reason why. What what it does is it says the brother has to be there. You know why? Because a man knows a man. I'm a man. If right. I know if, if I know some man, if I talk to him, and you can tell. And another thing is, if he's after the wrong thing, he's not going to want to meet me. But that's about it. Really, it's just there to secure the yeah. the interest of the female. Yeah, so enough. so then we don't call men trash anymore, even though some of them are. Do you say that's a good method or not? Yeah, yeah, it's a good, yeah, 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 it's a good method, I think yeah. so. You would appreciate him, or be honest with me, that if a man came and said, look, I'm interested in you, I want to speak to your father mm -hmm. and go about it the right way. Do you not say, you know what? No, that would be impressive. Yeah, exactly. No, if he, if he was like coming up to me and just like, listen, I really like you, I want to get to know you, but I'm going to see if it's okay with your dad first. That's, that's like, oh, okay, so you actually want to be serious about it. Yeah. What do you think? I just want you, as, as are you Muslim? I am. She's are you a Muslim sister? Yeah? Okay, so as, as, as a non-Muslim, that system, what do you say about it? What do you think about it? Imagine if you had a daughter. Yeah. Would you 
would you want that to be implemented? So if a guy wanted to marry your daughter, for him to come to you, or would you say, I just want your honest feedback? No, I don't want him to come to me and like ask for yeah. my like permission and like. Yeah, yeah. You you prefer that? They, they yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. What about I've you? always agreed yeah, with that. No, like the Muslims. Of course, Muslim. you have to ask for the father's permission. But that's what I'm talking about. See, as Muslims, yeah. Well, the reason we're doing this is because Islamically, if I love somebody, I have to go and approach their father. So you know why? So then, if I'm messing around, I wouldn't approach your father, innit? Because I've got bad intentions. Yeah. But if I've got good intentions, I would meet. I don't mind meeting her father. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to say, fam. Don't you yeah. think that's the right way to go about it? Yeah. Yeah. If you like a girl, they, they sometimes do tricks. Are you know? mad, fam? Yeah, no, I know. You got to be careful to girls, bro. They do tricks, fam. Yeah, you got to watch out for the tricks, yo, fam. My hands no, in the air, bro. What's, what's going on? Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, yeah. Ali Dawa. You got keep. paper. Look to the camera and say, keep it halal. Keep it halal. Keep it halal. Keep it halal. Okay guys, so we've just spoken to the people, you heard what they had to say. Now in a nutshell, obviously putting jokes aside and all these kind of things aside, obviously we're trying to, you know, uh, get, do a bit of banter with the people and stuff like that. But putting jokes aside, yeah, and this, is, this is actually a serious matter, you know. So if you think about it, we asked them and um, most of them said, you know what, they actually appreciate and value the Islamic way of getting to know somebody in the right way, yeah. Now, that says a lot, you know why? Because most of the time it's coming from experience. A lot of the time, females, majority of the time females, and I know there's a lot of female corporates as well, but a lot of the time females are the ones that are suffering. They're the ones who get the end of the stick. You get what I'm trying to say? And they're suffering. And because, <coughs> because of that, most of the females that we went and said, men are, they finished off with trash. Why? Because they've had this bad experience. And why do you have this bad experience? Because if you do not have something that's regulating, that's been sent down or any kind of regulation in place, what's going to happen is you're going to have males who are there who's going to mess you around, who's going to mess around with you, who's going to come to you and say, yeah, I want to marry you, going to give you these false promises. And afterwards, what's going to happen? Boom, they're going to leave you. They're going to go to move on. And that's the reason this phrase, men are trash, is used. Why? Because a lot of females have suffered this and they've seen how they get messed around, they get used around, they get abused and what does a man do he says i'm moving on now and all he has to do is grow a beard wear a fob or whatever it may be the story is done for him but at the end of the day females they're the ones who suffer so brothers and sisters it's very clear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says well zina do not even come close to zina so with this you can see the people who are living it and telling you the negative side of it you get what i'm trying to say and whatever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated it's for your own benefit and you heard it for yourself yeah most of them you heard it for yourself even the men that said nah 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 you know when he said okay but what if your daughter when his daughter came into the equation when his sister comes into the equation his auntie his mom his wife it's a different story and brothers and sisters in my marriage documentary inshallah that's exactly what i'll be showing you guys because this is just like you might see this as like a little, little banter thing but at the end of the day what i live through i've had people close to me kill theirself. I've had my cousin hang himself. I've had his friend hang himself. I had my neighbor kill himself. In my documentary, we're going to go and delve into this matter and see the destruction that lies behind it. And also, we're going to be speaking in my marriage documentary, inshallah, speaking to a female who her life was destroyed. She was on the verge of committing suicide. Why? Because she got messed around for five years. Five years, she got messed around. When she went to the guy's house, they told her to get lost. Just like her. She goes, I feel like an absolute trash. You're going to see that in my marriage documentary. And also, also, the reason I'm saying this as well is me personally, and I'm only sharing this with you guys so you benefit. In my jahiliya, I was involved in haram relationships. Yeah, and we go 10 years back, we go free to about 200 miles away to a place that I used to live, and I was involved in a haram relationship. Yeah, and we go there and we speak to my friends who were involved in haram relationships, and we even go and speak to the mum, the mother of the girl that I was in that relationship with. Alhamdulillah, Allah protected me from anything uh, major alhamdulillah but we're gonna go there and find out and learn inshallah the damages the destruction haram relationships cause brothers and sisters do not learn it the hard way islam says prevention is better than cure there is no point in you getting into this and then looking for cure okay what's the medicine don't even go close to it hope you guys have benefited share this with your friends and family inshallah marriage documentary is going to be up very soon inshallah and it's going to change the way you go about things inshallah and you will learn from my story and my mistakes not to commit the same things. May Allah bless you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and family. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.